But first up tonight, Christmas can be super costly. There's the presents, the food, the drinks, and the getting there and back. But who's more willing to go into debt to pay for it, men or women? <laughs> we'll tell you soon, Simon. <laughs> and we'll speak with money expert Hannah McQueen on how to do Christmas without a debt hangover. But first, Tim Wilson with details on how too much festive spending can put to you in a financial black hole. Yuletide means a tide of gifts, showing love with dollars, giving until, for some of us, it hurts. Gavin Mail of Opinion Compare has been surveying Kiwis about their Christmas spending. His findings? Women are more likely than men to go into debt to pay for Christmas. 15% of the females versus just 7% of men. Households that earn more than $100,000 a year are almost as likely to go into debt over Christmas as those bringing in under $60,000. Christmas, everyone always wants to make it better than the norm. And guess what? One in five of us will put Christmas on Afterpay. And Afterpay, of course, is a little bit like lay-by, but you get the stuff before you actually pay it off. Hannah McQueen, is that really a good idea? Well, when it comes to Christmas or shopping generally, when you disconnect the pain of the purchase from the actual purchase, you're more likely to spend between 20 to 50% more. And Afterpay is kind of credit cards on steroids. So I would expect the result of using Afterpay is that people will be spending more than what they intended because of that disconnect. Hannah, are you surprised about women being more likely to go into debt? Well, I think that that comment is categorically wrong. I think women uh, spend money on things differently than men, but they're no more likely to spend more, nor are they more likely to end up in debt. For example, uh, females are more likely to want to be able to be generous or enjoy spending money on gifts, whereas guys could probably take or leave whether they give gifts or not, but they like the socialising or drinking or going out with their friends drinking, both of which are quite common to be incurred at Christmas. So they might be incurring different costs, but the spend levels would be similar. Thank you for clearing that up, Hannah. We really needed to clarify that. Uh, how can we not, and this is both genders here, blow the budget this Christmas? Well, I think in most instances you need to set a budget and most Kiwis aren't particularly good at budgeting generally and when it comes to Christmas there is no exception. We also tend to be a little bit relaxed generally so we leave our spending to the last minute, we spend more than what we think and the problem with that is that it's a really expensive time of year anyway for families so the, the, the pressure or, or the implication of that overspend is felt in double. What about all those organised people? I'm thinking of Hilary Barry here because she's off on a Christmas holiday, it's too late for her to go cheap. Uh, what's your advice now uh, for the debt trap that she's obviously in? So if you have incurred uh, costs relating to Christmas or you know that you are going to end up in debt, the fastest or the best thing you can do is to prepare yourself on Boxing Day to refinance any credit card balances to a low interest rate so that at least stops the after effects of your spending. If you're using Afterpay, just try not to do that because, the, again, the implication comes home to roost in January and it's so hard when you start the year on the back foot financially. Hannah McQueen, thank you so much for talking to us tonight. Can we just keep you on the books, please? Because I think you're going to be handy not only for our viewers, but also for us, so we can save a little bit of money in the future. I'll do my best. Thanks, Hannah. ASB and 7 Sharp, keeping you one step ahead. Yes, so women, of course, spending a lot more than men. Everybody knows that. Um, did you Finally, listen to Hannah? Everybody knows <laughs> that. So. You've got to be careful with the credit cards, don't you? Yeah, I, they, they are dangerous. But the problem is, in modern society, so much now is the whole tap. I mean, I don't think my FPOS card does it, but the credit card does. And so it, you accidentally put things on there.
What? No, you do. Accidentally, accidentally. put things on there. But oh. what, you accidentally sort of, I accidentally bought that, <laughs> you know, new dress. Whoops the days, I accidentally bought those shoes. Yeah, I have an issue with being connected, obviously. I have got a little tip that Hannah McQueen actually gave me. And uh, she said if you want to keep Christmas on uh, a bit cheaper, do a bottle Christmas. So everyone has to give each other a bottle. It's a bit like a secret Santa. And if, you're, if you've got a bit more money to spend, you might get a, a, a nice bottle of wine. But mm -hmm. if you want to do it cheaper, you might get a little bottle of lotion. You can fill it with chocolates. I thought it was quite a good idea. It's quite a good idea. Yeah. It's tricky working out what to buy people. It is. Yeah. Have you purchased any presents All yet? All of them. I'm sure. <laughs>